Hey guys, it's Mark McMahon. Have you ever gotten paralyzed with fear before you jumped on the phone with somebody? I know I have, and even sometimes today it still bothers me. So today I want to go over how I handle phone calls with real estate agents when I'm looking for a property that I want to either buy as a flip or a rental. So if that sounds interesting, stay tuned. If you like that, please subscribe, please hit the like button, and please hit the notification number, uh, bell too if that's something that you think you might like to see every single week. All right, let's get rolling. So the one thing I want you to remember when you're calling an agent is you're on a level playing field. They're nobody above you. So don't think that they are and don't get nervous because they're just people just like you. And keep in mind when they got their first call from someone like you, they were nervous. And if it makes you feel better, uh, pretend they're not wearing any pants and, and that might help. I don't know. But in life, you can't let that crap get you down. Everybody's always nervous about this and that and the other. Guess what? Get over it. It doesn't matter. Your nervousness means nothing to them. They don't know that you're going to be nervous. They're not expecting you to be nervous because it's just another phone call to them. So just make the phone call. The best way to make a phone call is to pick up the phone and make the phone call. Don't put it off. Don't go, oh, you know, I think today I'm going to make calls at 2 o'clock. Don't do that. If you think you're going to make phone calls, pick up the phone and start calling then. On your 10th phone call, it'll get better. And then it gets better and better and better. I can hear both the guys out there right now. They're on the phones. They've been on the phones all day. They'll be on the phones till tonight. That's how, that's how it goes. That's how, it, that's how to make this work is by being on the phones. If you're going to find deals on the MLS, you've got to make a lot of calls and talk to a lot of people. All right, so let's see if I can get a hold of somebody here. And we'll give it a shot. Do you like that? Do you like that voice? Allie, you think that's good? All right, I got a thumbs up. Grandpa Mark. Three. I don't think we're going to get an answer, guys. I'm not feeling it. Four. Five, we give up. Hi, this is Mark Stoburn. All right, that didn't work. So, we're going to try the next one, even though I like that one better. Okay, this is another house in our area. Let's see how this one goes. And his name is Tam. So one of the basic rules of real estate is answer your phone. Hi, you have reached Tony Quinn? Okay. Nothing makes me crazier than a real estate agent that doesn't answer their phone. Yeah, I understand maybe they're busy, but a lot of times an agent will stupidly look down at their phone and see that they don't recognize the number because it's not someone they're dealing with right now currently, and they won't answer it. Little of these guys know that I buy... 50 houses a year. I'm a freaking good customer. You want to know who I am. You never know who's going to call you. Answer your damn phone. Trust me on this. You will make way more money. Do not go, oh, I don't know who that is. Screw that. What if that's the little old lady that you hit up four months ago that said, eh, I'm not ready to sell. I'm not going to sell. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to die here. What happens if she died? What happens is she's getting ready to die. Maybe she decided to move to a retirement community and you missed the call because, well, I don't recognize it. Guys, seriously, don't do that. Don't do it to yourself. Don't do it to your business. Don't do it to your family, okay? All right, we're going to make one more. This is three. If this third one doesn't answer, we're all going to go out and get a beer, all right? And then we'll, I don't drink, but I'm going to get a fake beer. That's what I drink. This is Dixie. Hi, Dixie. How are you? This is Mark McMahon. Hi, Mark. Hi. Hey, I'm calling about your listing on um, Eldon, and I was just wondering if you could answer a couple quick questions for me. Sure. Oh, good, good, good. Um, so I'm looking at the pictures. I'm probably having a, I'm having a little bit of a hard time to see what kind of shape it's in. I'm, I'm an investor, but I buy to hold, and I buy 
to flip. So um, sometimes things can fit both. I'm just wondering what kind of shape this house is in. Well, it's in certainly, you know, good shape. There's things that uh, you might want to do a little different. I don't know. It has a concrete, uh, polished concrete floor. Oh, uh, interesting. Okay, yeah, yeah. No, it, it looks good. I mean, I just... Uh, yeah, no, it's cute as heck. And, uh, you know, we're just getting all kinds of activity on it. I had, I don't know how many showings yesterday and a bunch again today. So Isn't it crazy right now? It is. I wish I had 20 of these. I know, I know, I know. We all do, but the problem is they're not, there's, there isn't 20. Nope, nope. I, I call, I call every, almost everybody every day because it's, you know, I got to find places we have money to invest and it's crazy. It's just crazy right now. I have to actually remember, well, you remember back when REOs were out and yeah, couldn't. Oh couldn't, yeah, I do. Yeah. I'm older than dirt. So well, I remember I'm, it I'm, when we made a living at 18% interest. So that tells you. Uh, that was when I bought my first house. So yeah, I, I, I know. I remember. Okay. So what, you, do you know the area pretty well? Yeah. Okay. So what do you think the rents would be on this? Oh, the rents would be probably, I would guess. Close to three, maybe a little more. Okay. Okay, that's actually pretty good. Um, and no assessments right now? Any weird? No, no, no. Okay. And they just did painting and termiting, everything. It, the complex is very well run. Okay. And yeah. they do it themselves, so they keep the HOA down. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm pretty familiar with this complex it's it's a nice one i i yeah, i live well, on they, i live in mesa i live in uh, over on the other side of the freeway so yeah yeah this is a nice place so what what else do you have that might be interesting for me this is this is neat but what what else do you think you might have that would be interesting knowing what i do or do you have anything else um gosh or coming up i've got one that we just bought to fix um, I don't know. I mean, we would want to make some money off of it, but we just closed and we're getting ready to do a flip. I did one in Belcourt uh, that I closed in October that we did a flip on. Nice. And yeah, we got the highest price ever for uh, a Belcourt uh, town collection. So it, you know, we kind of know what we're doing and sounds uh, like it if somebody wanted to we just bought uh, 67 ocean vista okay uh in sea island mm -hmm. so you know if we could get you know million seven for it whatever we'd probably do it what's the what's the arv on that one after repair uh, I'm pretty sure. I'm I'm hoping that with what we're gonna do, we should probably get. Uh, I don't know. I'm hoping to get around two two for it. Maybe if the market stays good, uh, maybe even a little more. Yeah, that's a that's a sweet spot right now. If you can keep it close to two, that's that was a good. That was a smart buy. That that was a that was a good one. I I, I like that. Those numbers are good. What? How much does it? How much do you think it needs? Well, the way I describe the house is it's like a somebody has had a 55 Chevy put up on blocks. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it's in mint shape, but not not what the not what the style is now. Right, I mean, like right. It has brand new carpet in it. It's there was a little old 95 year old lady that lived there. I don't think she ever even used the oven. She was there for 25 years. That's I crazy. I mean, it's just, you know, it's mint. Okay. But it's not. It it needs the bells and whistles. Okay. Well, let me let me take a look at it, Dixie, and um, uh, I might be interested. Uh, of course, for me where we're at right now, I'm trying to find stuff that I, if we're going to flip it and I have to rent it out, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. That's kind of, well, that's kind of where I'm at. I think this is going to be really good because it's one level. Okay. And that's really good. Okay. So, uh, one seven firm. Uh, yeah, pretty much. Okay. All right. Fair enough. All right. Well, let me, let me take a look at it and, uh, um, I think I know someone that lives in there. One of the kids from my son's school lives in there, so I can probably finagle my way in. Um,
But uh, let me let me take a look and um, I'll get back to you. I think it, 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 do you have MLS? Uh, oh yeah, yeah. I'm I'm an agent, okay. but then you yeah. can it's you know you can look under the soles. We um, and you she had some pretty good pictures. Excellent, excellent. Yeah, that that's a that's a that's a fine spread there. So all right. Dixie, I appreciate your time, and I will honestly, I will take a look at it. You've got my number. My name's Mark McMahon, and we're okay. here. In, we're here in Costa Mesa. Oh, you know what it says? Wireless. And when it says wireless, it never goes into my phone. Oh, okay. I don't know why. Okay. Do you have something to write with? Uh, no, I'm just now in Eldon. So um, okay. if you could text me, yes. that would be great. I'll put you down, and, and we're good to go. And I'll put you in my phone number, too, uh, in, in my phone book, too. So... Keep me in okay. mind on anything. Like I said, the lower price stuff is always my comfort zone, but we do some higher end stuff too. Okay, sounds Thank, good. Thanks, Dixie. Thank you. Okay, bye-bye. Bye -bye. Okay, guys, what I did right there, not magic. I'm not that great. But the one house that I called on, I have no interest in. Zero. But what I did is I asked her, simply, do you have anything else? And this was not... This was not scripted. Um, Allie, did I call this lady before? No. No, I did not. And she, I just asked her, do you have anything else that I might be interested in as an investor? She just bought a house that she's going to flip. And I'm assuming she bought it for 1.6 or whatever. I can find, I'll look on MLS and find out. But that house, she'll sell to me for 1.7 and it's got an ARV of 2.2. And it's a single level condo in Belcourt. I know I can do that rehab for $100,000. And if it really does come out to 2.2, I could possibly make, after interest and all the BS that goes along with selling a high-end house, I can possibly make about $150,000. Guys, that was magic just now. You have no idea how cool that phone call was. And it was unscripted. I didn't know who I was calling. I was calling on a house I had no interest in. But I found a potential $150,000 bill in that phone call. Five minutes of my time. Guys, go through every single listing on the MLS and make a phone call. Don't be scared to call and don't be afraid to ask. Ask silly questions. I, I didn't even know what I was going to ask her when she called. I, uh, this looks nice. Um, do I, how much do you think it rent for? I didn't have that scripted either. That was just, I didn't even know what to say when I called her because I was more thinking about talking to you guys than talking to her, trying to be entertaining. And that's not smart, but it worked. So you can do the same thing. So the things you got to remember, make the phone calls when you think you're going to make the phone calls. Don't time. Don't go, oh, I'm going to do it three. Don't do that. All right. If you're going to make phone calls, pick up the phone and do it. But like I said, the 10th one, you'll start getting your groove. Keep track of people. If you're friendly like I was, Dixie and I are friends now, all right? I'm gonna put her in my phone, she's gonna put me in her phone, I'm gonna text her, I'm gonna stay in touch with her because Dixie works the area I like. It's higher end, but I like it, all right? So $150,000 spreads all day long, guys. And by the way, if you live in this area and you beat me to this one, good for you. But I'll have either wrapped it up by then or decided I don't want it, who knows? But number one, like I said, pick up the phone and call. Number two, be friendly, be nice. Don't be mumbly and blah, 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 blah. They don't want to talk to that. Talk to them like they're people and they will talk to you like your people. Show interest, be interested in what they're saying. Ask good questions. Always, and like I said, you're looking at properties all day. You're gonna call on every one of them in your area. Don't just look at the ones that are run down. That doesn't matter. You don't know if they're desperate to sell that house. You don't know if you can put an offer on that house. They may say, you know what? We just fell out of escrow for the second time and they just want to go now. They just want to go. It's like, bingo. And you got to be there at the right time for that. How do you be there at the right time? You pick up the phone and call every day. Odds are that you're eventually going to find someone that needs to sell that particular minute. And this is free. You guys are always asking what's free. This is free marketing. You don't have to pay for anything. Just this, just the phone. That's it. And you know, you have to find the, find the agent. You can do that on Redfin. You can do it on Zillow. The agent's phone numbers are in there. All right, so the third thing, always ask what else they have or if they've got anything coming up that might be interesting to an investor. 
right? I'm pausing. I want that to sink in. That is the most important thing. Remember before we've talked about follow-up? That's the most important thing on a phone call. You don't care about the house you're calling on 99 times out of 100. You care about the ones that they might have or they might have coming up. All right? Great. We're done today. Woo! All right, guys, don't forget. Download my list on how to get started investing. Please do that. It will walk you through the steps. It'll get you going. Also, there's two videos we're going to post at the end to follow up on this, on marketing. I want you to go through those too. Watch both of those. Make sure and follow me. Make sure and subscribe. I really appreciate that. You guys have a great day and I'll talk to you next week. Hey guys, check out these two videos. They're really going to help you on your investment journey. I'm also on Instagram. Tons of great video content there. Really good stuff. Please subscribe. I'll see you next time.